Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you, sir? Hello, my son. Introduce yourself for our community. Majina kwa ya serikali. Majina kwa ya star. Kwa majina naitua DJ Click. Ama James Ngugi Kiro. Yes. James Ngugi Kiro. Yeah. Talk to us about who you are. Basically, I am a man. From <laughs> Kiamu County. Uh, yeah. Uh, Twenty. Eight, no, 29 years of age. I will be a DJ and a trainer. Okay. Yeah. High school, campus, what did you do? What was your vision? What did you want to do when you were studying? Uh, I started in high school. High school, I think I realized I wanted to be, to be a DJ around. I came from two up, I guess, yeah. Because I remember I came from four. My dad came. We had a big issue at school, so I enter. Then to Kaban, you enter. Then we were meeting. Everybody was told, "Come out, take entertainment in Baniwe." Mkuu chini, when you attack, attack in Baniwe, wasi mama. Me, me peke la lubaki, me si mama peke angu. So clearly, we couldn't show me me age. Me without entertainment, there's nothing else. So what are we working on visiting? It was basically when I come visiting, come out on a laptop. Ah, ah, to nakosana. So after high school, I went to NIBS to do mass communication and journalism. At some point, to capture you, by the end of the of the of the same style, we have a project. So we have a project, and decided because I know a friend who's doing DJing. Actually, he was my classmate. He's called DJ Slovic. He was at at the time he was at Redberry. So I decided, you know what? Let me do a project about DJing. That's when I went to DJ Sid at Redberry. You tell me, like, what kind of house here? What kind of house? Then after I met him, after we uh, we did the interview, me got intrigued and told him I'll be back. After now I was done in college, I did my internship. I went back to college, and so I went back to college. I did my diploma, then went back to Red Bay. After Red Bay, after the three months, said to me, "Niaja, you get how you have a lot of potential. Niaja, I want to, I want you to guy you, you, you come join the team, get to at least familiarize, familiarize yourself with the equipment, twenty, twenty internship, kiasi. Yep, one thing led to another, 2014." Sasa I have 2014. Mzazi ameku lipia mask of the kitchen. Ni sawa, ni sawa, ni sawa. Ndio yeye umeamua kuwa DJ. How did that conversation start? How did my dad, my dad first of all, I need from you by the way, please tafadhali. Ataka tu laptop na hard disk. And then go and okay to go and okay to, because that's why I was so convinced. I want, just want to go back to to school and learn how to be a DJ. So my mom can buy a what a school fees. She paid, can buy a laptop, can buy a hard disk, and that's it. Me and yeah, because I took when I should learn. It grew slowly. So that my dad at least I can understand. Oh, okay. So I'm saying honestly, I'm not paying for it. So eventually, I can't get to. I can't. I can't believe it. I can't believe. Yeah. Aya. Yeah. 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 First gig you ever did? First gig was internship at Saville. Yes, Saville Lounge, Ilko Galleria. We went to Seeds. <laughs> Let me tell you, if it's your first time working with DJ Seeds, utakimbia, <laughs> utakimbia. All the guys who work with him for the first time will tell you, because he teaches you actually. <laughs> He'll, he'll give you your run for your money. Like, atakuonesha, atafungle, ataku, ataku shuga coat, ati biashara ipe ipe. Ah, atakuonesha even though job iko. Kama kuna pressure, pressure iko. Like, you get to understand, you get to feel the, the actual job itself. So he'll go Savile. It could, I think around 2014, Bado. Then uh, I did a couple of gigs, Bado Savile. Then eventually became the resident at Savile uh, together with Bijesi. Good. That was your first gig. So, Apple, you were at Redberry. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about your experience at Redberry. Experience at Redberry was, I think, the best stress I did coming to Redberry because number one, I, I got to me, number one, the person who brought me to Redberry was my classmate, the Jeslovic. So at least I didn't know him too. I didn't know sure because I'd already seen him. I'm a succeed at Redberry. I was sure I was getting a good, a good deal out of the academy. So. When I came to Red Bay, number I was meeting Sid. Sid, I said, "Doctor Lazaji, Sid Williams." Say, 
anajua kukumenta as in he understands the business hata kutufunja hata kufuza tu leo ati you do two days alafu simu zako zimeisha uende zi he put you in a program where if you're good and he really knows you're good he'll hold your hand he'll take you around as in that mentorship program is what i wanted and that's what i needed uh, so that, and, th- and thank Rebel for that cuz they showed me the industry itself now what's your fondness for my from the very like ukifikiria tu Rebel kila na tu ni scenario ni situation na kumkanga sana wewe ulikuwa shule ulikuwa class yote wewe ulikuwa umetoka kwenda kwa ground what's your fondness for my tulikuwa tulikuwa prive ilikuwa gigia Mr Easy Funny thing, I don't know how any doubt me being chosen mean chosen I, I literally don't know how see that kind of you guy the opportunity grab it and kill it and funny thing after that me kushina drink it up really cuz honestly I don't know me I don't know how see decided me you, you guy you are the, the best suited for this gig and you deserve it and grab it and go for it I think that's my best moment at Redberry career was so far what are you doing right now? Mm. Right now I'm, I'm I'm going back to Rebel to train guys how to be a DJ. Basically, on one of the seven pro- programs we have, I'll be a trainer at one of uh, one of the one of the programs. But sadly, for the past two years, when COVID hit, I haven't been DJing a lot because I had an eight to seven job which is non related to DJing. But I've been doing one or two two or two or three gigs around. But for now I want to focus on training guys how to be DJs. Good. What advice would you give anyone like out there? I'm fine ya for past communication said I think I'm not that she can come around the court. And if you don't become a DJ, yeah? why sh- what would you tell them? Why should they do like what would you advise them? The best advice is you only live once. And if you really like something go for it. So if you are age of 50 you regret I was among I wasted my entire life doing a course I didn't want to do and I, I had some I had a chance to do it so just go for it just come to Redberry would you come to own it to come to tembe to own it to if it come ni yako you take it yako no 5 years ago that's um 2017 yeah. where were you 2017 I was a resident at Vanya now deja vu now deja vu yeah now going back to 5 years uh-huh. what would you tell yourself what you know now what, in 2017 we had jambia nini now that you been here covid in kukonga umefanya kazi ya 8 to 7 umefika sasa you know a trainer you focus your story what would you tell yourself back in 2017 back then i told myself to save more money and nipunguze sherehe if i knew what would, what was coming yeah and that that changed so many things i was, I was doing then and say yeah, save save a lot more money Yeah. In 2027, where would you like to be? Five years from now. Five years from now. From five years from now. Five years from now. I want to be an entrepreneur. What do you yeah. want to do? Like entrepreneurship is so important. Mm, basically, uh, apart from DJing, I can learn a lot of at least. Can we any way what? Okay, the queen is last one could like a plot mahali. But basically in the day I want to be the best that I, I can be. I want to cause the the sort of events we do at every end of the year with some guy called DJ Sumo. And every year we target our, we push our targets higher. So I want by by 20 by 20 umshwa fergus from now. Yeah, that's 2027. Yes. We want to be, create our own tomorrowland in Watamu. Good. Yes. Love it.